so today I'm doing the no mirror makeup tag and I just got out of the shower so I've just got moisturizer on and my hair is still wet so I'm just gonna put it back in the only headband that I could find which happens to be the cat ear one. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the mirror from in front of me because I usually have a mirror set up right there just so I can make sure that this camera is still in focus so hopefully it stays in focus all through this video and I've got a mirror on this side to me but I've kind of attempted to cover it up with a um scarf I didn't want to knock anything down so I just kind of draped it over so I just kind of attempted that and I've got a mirror behind me and yes you can probably see me sat on my exercise ball but I'm just going to not look backwards and I've got a mirror in front of me there <laughs> so I'm going to remove this mirror right now this mirror and I've turned it around and I'm just going to lean it against the wall at the back I'm just going to start with foundation because it seems like the easiest thing to do without a mirror so I usually use this BB cream right here and because it makes my face look a little bit pale I usually mix it with this foundation which is the Maybelline Fit Me one. Oh, that's probably too much and then I usually mix them on the back of my hand and then apply so just mixing just trying to blend it all in and I'm just using this little kind of what is this a flat top kabuki round top kabuki brush by Sigma and I'm just gonna trying to buff it all in I just want to kind of make sure it's blended and just make sure and that it's all evenly covered which I think that should be <laughs> so now I'm just gonna grab my concealer which is the uh, Maybelline Superstay concealer which is this one here and okay I think I had blemishes around here they're not so much blemishes they're more like a little bit of scarring I have around there on my cheek I think there's some here though I'm not too sure <laughs> I'm just gonna get this little brush and blend that all into my skin as well and I'm also gonna get a bit and put it under my eyes to conceal any dark rings that I may have So I think that's kind of already done. Just taking a powder and I'm covering the mirror because I don't want to see my reflection yet. And I'm reaching this way. I'm not looking in the mirror, out, but I'm just reaching this way because my brushes are there. I'm just getting my brush. And I'm gonna apply this all over. I don't really apply this heavily, I just dust it very lightly. And now I'm just gonna grab my bronzer which is in golden goddess by cast so I'm just gonna get some of that and I've actually been addicted to using a little bit of bronzer every day so I'm just gonna get a little tiny bit so you just want a little tiny bit and I'm just gonna put this down and kind of just blend it in just so it gives you a nice little light glow so grab this right here which is my blush and I'm just going to get a little bit of that and smile and apply it to the apples of my cheeks I really hope this is going well <laughs> I'm just going to grab my um, Inglot Illuminator. I probably squirted too much because you only need the tiniest amount of this so I might not use it all but I'm just going to get that on my brush that I use for concealer and I'm just going to apply this gently dot it and then I'm just going to pat it and I don't like putting powder over the top of this I like putting this over the top of the powder just because when I put the powder on it kind of just sticks it makes it look cakey or just makes it look a bit patchy there so you can just use your fingers if you really want. It just gives you a beautiful, beautiful glow. Just a little bit down my nose. On my cupid's bow. And under my eyebrows. And with eyes now, I'm just going to use concealer. I mean, not concealer, eye primer. And I would zoom up 
but I'm trying to do this all in kind of one take so I don't have to move the camera. I apply an eye primer and I usually have a neutral eyeshadow that I usually wear with a little bit of purple in it. So I'm going to use this palette right here and it's by Crush Cosmetics and just kind of has heaps of eyeshadows, it has no mirror in it. Oh, it's got them and it's got that, but I'm just going to stick to browns. So, so I'm just going to start off with a light gold colour, which I usually use, just over the, my eyelid, all the way up to the crease. And then I'm just taking a dark brown eyeshadow, I'm doing that in the corner. In my fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend all that out in circular motions. I'm getting a little paranoid now because I really want to have a look in the mirror, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to use a light colour of the inner corner of my eye. And that's all the neutral colours that we use. And then I usually just, I'm just go, ahead. go ahead and get an angled fluffy brush and I'm applying the steep purple right here which is one of the purples I usually use. I usually use this one or one of my other little separate palettes with it. Just want to use a deep purple and we're just going to blend it in around the outside. This is so weird because I really don't know what colours wear. Like I get the basic idea but I don't really know whereabouts it is and like if it's blending or not it's I prefer doing makeup with a mirror. <laughs> so that's that. Now I usually start with the eyeliner. I'm using my black pencil eyeliner and I'm just gonna do it as close as I can to my lash line. And I mean, at least with pencil. If it doesn't work out, you can smudge it and just make it look like you've got like a whole smoky eye. I like going into the inner corner very, very, very lightly. Okay, so that's the top part done and now for underneath my eyes. Oh, okay. Um, I only use a little tiny bit of black eyeliner on the bottom of my eyes. I don't really like them looking too dark underneath. I think I got close to my eyelid. Did I, did I get close to the eyelash line? I tried to get close. This is so weird. I can see the pencil in my peripheral vision. And then I usually like to use a little bit of my waterline without poking, but at least this part I don't really look in the mirror for much. <laughs> now I'm going to use mascara and just wiggle it all. This part's easy because I guess you don't really use a mirror all the time. Well, I always use a mirror to apply mascara, but at least you can kind of just bounce the mascara one off your eyelashes and get it on that way. A little bit underneath my eyelashes, very, very, very lightly because I don't want it globbing or smudging. So for my lips, I usually like to use pink and I only very lightly dab it on and then blend it in. Lips aren't that hard to do. If I was doing a lip liner, <laughs> that would be a disaster waiting to happen. Just blend it in so it looks not that hard and so I think that's all for makeup so our makeup is completely done so I'm just gonna find a handheld mirror I've just got a handheld mirror and I'm gonna have a look oh that's not actually that bad I like the eyeshadow like I mean the blending is all horrible and there's a bit of an orange glow to my face and actually that's not too crash hot when you look closely but from a distance I mean but that's not too bad, I guess. Wow, I'm surprised. 
There's like white spots on my face. I don't know if you can see it. And so this here is a close-up of my makeup. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's like random white dots. I think that's the illuminator I use. Or the concealer. It's like a very, very harsh contour going on here as well. So that's my final look. The lips didn't turn out bad. Actually... I thought the lips were going well, but there's actually just a little bit of a smudge there. I'm not sure if you guys can see it though. But yeah, that turned out a lot better than what I was thinking in my mind. I tag every one of you out there to this mirrorless makeup challenge. Um, and definitely, if you do it, um, leave a comment below telling me how it worked for you. Or leave a video response as well, because I'd love to watch them as well. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you soon in more videos. Bye!